Local Jewish organizations are taking steps to keep their communities safe. Thanks everyone for joining us tonight on this Thursday. Welcome to Western Mass News 11 at 11. I'm Chris Pisano. The safety measures coming after the FBI warns it's received credible information of a broad threat to New Jersey synagogues. Western Mass News reporter Lexi Oliver joining us now live in studio with more. Lexi. Chris, while there is no threat present locally, members of the Jewish Federation of Western Mass tell us they're being proactive about this situation. On Thursday, the FBI says it received credible information of a broad threat to New Jersey synagogues. The agency now urging people to stay alert and take all security precautions to protect their community. We're part of a network of Jewish federations across North America, and so we're very conscious of what's happening in other communities. And we do partner together and share information throughout emergency situations as well as every day. CEO of the Jewish Federation of Western Massachusetts, Nora Gorenstein, and donor impact officer Bobby Namark tell Western Mass News that while there isn't a threat locally, they are continuing to be proactive about security measures. Local synagogues, you know, they have a constant police presence and that really makes the whole uh, community feel more secure. Gorenstein says they also have an internal communication amongst the leadership of local organizations to stay in touch if an emergency arises. We've really worked to develop those policies so that we can be responsive even when something's taking place on Shabbat which traditionally in um, most of the Jewish faith is a time when we might not be pulling out our cell phones or um, checking things on the internet. So we have developed alternate ways to let everyone know when there is this type of threat. On Wednesday, the Baker administration announced $4.1 million in funding for several nonprofit faith-based organizations across the state, primarily Jewish community organizations and synagogues, including three here in Western Mass. The administration says the program is intended to upgrade physical security measures against, quote, terroristic and hate-fueled attacks. This comes as celebrities such as Kanye West and Kyrie Irving have been under fire recently for anti-Semitic posts and remarks in the media, something Gorenstein says was a big topic at this year's General Assembly of the Jewish Federations of North America. One of my favorite quotes from this conference, which I'll just share with you now, is in Jewish life, we respect difference, give difference dignity because we're different. And that's from Rabbi David Wolpe, who is the senior rabbi at Sinai Temple in Los Angeles. And he was one of the keynote speakers at the General Assembly. And so essentially this echoes that theme that the way that we can prevent some of these terrible tragedies from occurring is by proactively welcoming in people to learn more about Jewish faith, Jewish culture, and just to be very accessible and welcoming to all people, and also to recognize and embrace various perspectives, even when we don't agree, so that we can help people come to a better understanding of each other. Gorenstein says one of the ways they're able to support the ongoing needs of various community agencies is through their annual campaign. For more information on that, you can head to our website, westernmassnews.com, and click on the blue As Seen on TV button. Reporting in studio for Western Mass News, I'm Lexi Oliver.